when one tree is attacked by insects, it releases airborne pheromones, a chemical scream that tells its neighbors to raise their defenses, to make their leaves bitter and toxic. It's a shared immune system stretching for miles. This mind also makes decisions. It manages resources with a rootless, silent logic. Through the wood wide web, a symbiotic network of underground fungi, a mother tree can shuttle carbon and nutrients to its struggling offspring, nurturing the future of the collective. It can also wage war. It can starve or poison the roots of invasive species, a slow, methodical rejection of the other. It is a mind that operates without a central command, a single intelligence arising from the cooperation of millions of individual agents. It thinks in sunlight and shadow. It speaks in pollen and decay. Our own consciousness, with its fleeting anxieties and momentary triumphs, is a frantic, noisy spasm against its deep, slow, geological breathing. Perhaps consciousness does not need to be centralized. Perhaps it can be distributed, woven into the very fabric of an ecosystem, 